Okay, another video about CSS Grid. In this one, I want to talk about how you can create uneven columns. So something like I've got built here. I've got one row of my table, or my grid, where I've got three things, and then I've got two in another row. So how do we create something like this, where grids like to build things like a table, there's the same number of columns in every single row? Well, lowest common denominator is actually the secret behind this. What we're going to do is we're going to say, I've, I want three things here, two things here. What's the smallest number I can come up with that's evenly divisible by three and two? Well, six. So each one of these is going to be two columns. And then the bigger ones down here, each of these is going to represent three. So a couple of ways we can do this. Let's take a look at the CSS. So my first version. Now, both versions are going to create the exact same CSS the exact same rendering on the page on the layout. First one I'm going to do is using the grid template areas where I've got A, B, C, D, E. And you can see that I'm writing the letter twice here. Now these could be any name at all, but my first row is going to have the first element showing up twice, the second one showing up twice, the third one showing up twice. Then the second row, we've got three and three. Then I'm going to give the names to these elements here. I just gave these A, B, C, D, E as class names just to make it easy for me in the CSS to tie the two of them together. But they don't have to be the same thing. So A, I'm going to use grid area A to represent A, which is the first element right here. B is the second. It's going to be my position B. And then my grid area C is for class C. So these are the first three elements, one, two, three, right here. For the next ones, D and E, there's the names, there's the class names. Like I said, they don't have to be the same, but just to make it easier, this is D, this is E. They line up side by side because I did this. And that's all that I had to do. Now this extra thing right here, the grid column gap, that was just to make it easy to see this, but we don't technically need that. We can remove that. It just gets rid of the gap between them. Now I've got padding inside of here behind the background color, so I do have space between them. Uh, the grid column gap is just to make it a little bit easier to see what's going on here. So that's the first one, using the grid template areas and then referring to those names. So that's the first one. Now let's come back in here. We'll remove the comment off there. And I'm going to take the closing comment put it down at the bottom. There we are. And then for version two, we're going to render that one. There we are. So I'll refresh back to the same thing we had with the column gap there. So I've got the column gap in here. So the second version of this, I'm defining the columns and I'm setting the rows to auto. So this means that they're going to space themselves. They're going to give themselves automatically the required amount of height. Repeat six times one fraction. So this is the same thing as if I had written one FR, one FR, one FR, one FR, one FR, one FR. Same thing, refresh, no changes. It's just a little bit easier to write using the repeat command. There we are. So repeat six times one fraction. So I've created six fractions. That's my grid. I've got six columns that I'm creating by doing this. Then our A, B, C, D, E, those elements, what we do is we define their position inside this grid that we've created. Six columns, an automatic number of rows. So A, B, C, that's our first three right here. We're going to say in position one, spanning two columns. That's the first one. And then we've got in position three. So position one, position two, position three. Spanning two takes up positions three and four. And then for C, we've got starting at position five, spanning two, so five and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how they space out. And then for the next row, you'll see I've got grid row one, 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 two, two. And then the grid column one, spanning three, and then position four, spanning three. So one, two, three is the first column. Four, five, six is the second column. 
So whichever way makes more sense to you, whichever way is easier for you to write, do it that way. There's no real plus or minus to doing it either way. Just whatever makes most sense to you based on the HTML that you have, based on the way that most makes sense to you. That's really what this comes down to. Either way works. Both of them will create the exact same grid. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.